Oh. All right, guys, we're back. Got your friend Jonathan here. He's a pale young bloodsucker from London, 1918, and he's about to talk to some gentleman that thinks crosses are fun to point at people. Okay, that's very awkward. And who might you be? Awkward just staring at, at the other guy. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we kind of get an in-depth thing here to see how good his blood is. And I guess this can go up or down depending on the hints that we find. And I, I wonder how we can find them out. And we get to see his little social circle. Like, who this uh, four-eyed freak loves, you know? And that's really what it's all down to is who you know. Okay. How do we want to answer him? I'm not sure that I know anymore. That seems Might like a, a fairly nice answer. That's none of your concern. Sir, okay. you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In Word, fact, okay. Biting them. Molest was probably the wrong word there, but we'll cut him a break because he can do cool shit. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I I believe you. Oh, you! <laughs> this freaking liar. Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Oh, you're an asshole. Okay. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. They're off to a good start. What have you, you know? uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground and quickly. Okay. All right. I exhausted the options here, so let Doctor Edgar Swantia. Sure, I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a strong name, Edgar. You don't you don't hear that very often. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. Because your door is cracked. The, trail, <laughs> the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. <sighs> Matt, he doesn't trust you, so it almost it almost seems like this this is a loaded a loaded uh, option. Like it, it, if he doesn't trust you and you don't trust him, answering any which way this is would kind of not really give you a result so I'm gonna just gonna go with not sure this is all new to me I'm not even certain what I'm looking for you should let me handle this affair you've no idea what you're up against he's not even a freaking vampire no. I will find the monster he is mine how will you do any better than I but then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'm a barium. Oh, <laughs> that's the option. I'll end him. I don't know. I'll demand answers. Um, to be fair, in Jonathan's shoes, I don't think after having this much trauma, I don't think he would actually know what to do. So I'll go with I don't know. I don't know yet. 
Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Okay. So now you're... <laughs> He's got a painting of himself. What kind of self-righteous ass hangs up a painting in his own his own room? It's a hotel room, mind you. You know, this, is, this isn't even his room. And look, look, he's already made himself... Oh, I'm right at home. <laughs> what a freaking douche. He could have had, at least had the decency to paint your spectacles on there. Kept it four eyes. If Swansea is not right. my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Oh, his name is Swansea, Someone so I, I nailed it. And I bet you the lady that knows the answer is the lady. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is the woman that knows Evening, what's sir. going on. Can I help you? <clears throat> I have a few questions. Well, if you must. And that's exactly why. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Goodbye for now. <laughs> I wonder if you can do that to everybody. Hello, May I disturb you again? You're still ugly as sin. Yeah, I, you I knew it. It was the lady. It's got to be. I bet you he doesn't have that option either. Welcome back. Makes it real so easy to narrow know. things down. I say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told it's really you weird, though, that you can rotate the, out. um, the camera while talking. Hint required. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. It's funny that that's a required item. And where the heck would you even find it, you know? I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> As will. Oh, man, she's quick to give it up, too. came in here early tonight, <clears throat> <clears throat> she just pretty much just spilled the beans like oh it's will he was in the, he was in the library with a candlestick he was dead drunk which makes this game a clue real easy God, his, his, his eyes his face he must have caught something awful he shouted and, and cried it was terrible Okay. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Hmm. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. <laughs> Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to... And that's gotta be the clue I needed. Yeah, that was the hint. It sure does boil this down. <laughs> you again. What can I do for you? A vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. And that's still deceit, though. That counts. Who is he? William. Sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. 
Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. I doubt he that. Stand up most of the time. I very much doubt he has no bite. <laughs> was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Uh, that's a good option to refuse. I need to find him. <clears throat> it's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Yeah, I'll get right on that, man. I'll do. I'll run your freaking errands. <laughs> So you can actually there's a lot of clues of these guys where 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 are these clues <clears throat> it's interesting little thing here you can do that's your map Best talk to Tom. Look, I told you everything. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. Oh, he's I'll fun. Leave you to your bottle, then. Bet you wouldn't say that to me if I freaking turned into a vampire and stabbed him in the neck. Let's see what this hideout's all about. says there is a hideout right here. I mean, I'm not really seeing the hide or the out part of it. That's Are strange. We... The trail is very erratic. As if the killer was drunk or hesitant. It's interesting. So I guess there's some places you can go up on. <clears throat> oh, you can just straight up refill your ammo. <laughs> you don't even you don't even have to attempt. What is this a crafting table? Okay. Can't make it. That's good. Recyclable. But I'm not seeing anything he can... That fatigue would be helpful. Glass vial and a bunch of other crap. <laughs> He's got his bed. I don't foresee myself going to that bed very often actually because it was it was very out of the way to get up here <clears throat> he just jumps off I will get to the bottom of this intrigue oh shush been done to me to the city It's a real brooding one, this one. It's funny, you can't use your weapons. Like, right now I've been pressing square and triangle just to see what I can do. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Yeah, I noticed him earlier, but I guess this we weren't really off. feeling it. He tried <clears throat> it. 
Let's see. I bet you there's no real pattern to this. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Yeah. Sorry, I just adjusting the headset here. Some sort of note. <laughs> yeah, you think? Blood and empty gin bottles. Multiple deaths in Docks region. Okay. All right. So he's a vampire hunter. These I'll leave it up to you guys to look at. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Yeah, hey, I doubt they are. On the other side of the canal, I must reach that barge. Oh, we can use our knife again. Means there's uh, friendly people here. I'm gonna be making some good friends. Oh, the door's open. That move is really, really strong. Okay. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Yay, but you were a doctor though, you know? Uh. Bunch of crates and nothing in it. Pleasant, pleasant. <clears throat> Display their enemy cards. Okay. Shows me what they're strong against and weak against. Man, you went down real easy. <laughs> I didn't even sneak up on you, I just pounced. Okay. There ain't nothing here, man. state of things huh hardly anything around oh <laughs> look at him oh man i definitely didn't do that to you friend yeah you you came across that injury on your own <laughs> that's straight that's straight up railroad spine right there oh man Another one. Look at you. I wonder if that runs in you guys' families. Okay, he actually had something. Oh, and so did he, actually. More bullets? I don't, I don't really think I would be shooting that much. That steak that I got here seems to really just do the trick. I guess that guy didn't have anything on him. And sorry if you see me repeat and come back to bodies. So it's it's a little odd when you see something on one enemy and then on another you just don't even come across nothing. 
So you're going to see that a few times because I'm making sure I don't miss anything, which would be real fun. Oh, cool. More lockers with nothing in them. That's... That's the new hotness. And that guy has his back facing us, so we're going to do a little trick here. Something the game decided to teach me. easy to get rid of with that ability. It just smokes them, man. took like seconds. I've seen some people play this game and and they were having a real rough go at it. But if that is, um, you know, if that's that, you know, I don't, I don't think we're going to have a hard time here. Quite the opposite. What is this? Okay, all right. Just interesting little tidbits about vampire hunters. No, nothing crazy. Let me see if I missed anything when I was up here. I was too busy strategizing on on enemies that apparently just die by touching them. Wonder if I can yep. It's interesting. It's like they give you the option, but it's not even an option you need. <clears throat> Did I get any wonder if I got any new weapons or anything? No? No, no new weapons. And I don't see any either. <laughs> and of course nothing breaks, so it's like, oh, I wonder if there's new weapons here. Oh wait, I can't ever check because hardly anything breaks. And the stuff that does doesn't do anything. Cool. <laughs> There's a dude at the end of the pier. Oh, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? Yeah, you didn't like me too much. Yeah. So there's a hideout here. <laughs> oh, okay. You you have an ability that just straight up heals you. And the rats give you more of that sweet, sweet love juice. <laughs> Which is funny because they're a freaking trophy, you know? And they, and they just, it looks like they just keep respawning. So that's going to be a real easy trophy to get.
There it is, pest control. <laughs> That's a fun one. That is definitely a fun one. Just sucking on rats. Just like mom taught me. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a weapon up here. <laughs> well, that's good. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay. It says there's supposed to be a weapon here. Look at it from some notes should be a weapon here so if you guys stumble across it uh good for you but considering that the game actually doesn't uh, and it, it lets you come back to a lot of these areas so if if you notice i, I might miss something this will happen especially in games like this where stuff is dark uh we'll be coming back to this later and we'll we'll definitely take a better uh, look at things because odds are it's one of those things where it's like oh yeah this you know this weapon's here and then it shows up like somewhere else you know and then the the guide we might have been looking at um, you can basically throw it in the trash because it's useless yeah especially for trophy hunting uh, it's sometimes it's nice like you know you find somebody like did a guide you know like the one that I'm looking at is uh, power picks right because he, he actually happens you know or I say he but it's more likely a team of people that do this and uh, it looked like he had everything labeled out real nice uh, completely wrong about this one so if you stumble across it there is no chest up here with a, another weapon now this might vary on the whatever game system you're playing, but uh, looking at it right now, there ain't nothing up here. So we're just gonna call shenanigans and call him a liar. <laughs> the note was there though, so at least that's that's the good news. Something was where it was supposed to be. What is this? Oh, look at that wasn't on a chest it was actually on the floor so there's another weapon that you need for one of the uh, one of the actual um, trophies the used lumbara so we're gonna go ahead and check out this little this little hideout here that's a neat little tool. They'll save <laughs> save us some time. Oh look, we got another friend. He just kind of stumbles across these people, huh? Like, oh, dead body here, no big deal. And he's just so nonchalant about it. You know, I guess they're trying to make it seem like people from World War One just really dealt with shock real well, uh, which is kind of not a thing. But, um, so, at least we got some stuff there. This is the crafting table, by the way. The thing that looks like a writing desk. Uh, you have enough components to improve one of my weapons. Press R2. Select a weapon to upgrade. A melee weapon I want to upgrade. Uh, I don't really want to upgrade this. And... Don't know what he was talking about, because I definitely cannot upgrade this. Oh, at least he's talking about the stun. Yeah, but I don't want to upgrade that, so I'm going to skip it. All, all the enemies here have given me 
pretty much zero challenge, so... What I am keeping my eye out on, for, or rather for, is the, uh... Is the damn, uh... Weapons and collectibles. That's what we're that's what we're striving to get. We're trying to get all them freaking things, and we'll see how it goes. And not kill. Blood. Oh, not the kill anybody. Reeks of it. The scent is so strong. It <laughs> Leave it to a man. They have a lead rod. See what this is about. Uh, uses a good bit of stamina. It's not very fast. It it does almost does twice. Over twice as amount damage, but that stake, man, that stake freaking just kills them. It just puts them down. We'll go with that. Yeah, thank you. We will <laughs> forgo the pistol that doesn't do jack. I hear him talking. Right there, for sure. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. So yeah, I'm not trying to make this game easier than it is. It, it just really is like this. You have an auto heal function, which kind of like defeats the purpose. And you pretty much just stake him down to the ground. And that ability just fries them. Look at that range, too. Alright, he's blocking right now. A lot of good that, did you? Okay, well that was the first, that was the first boss. Let's see what we got. This one is only slightly worse, but it's it hits him harder. We'll go with this. And that's just me using the ability like a dum dum. <laughs> I was just look at his friend just sitting there. here I forgive you the Lord is my shepherd William please stop 
William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must oh. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Oh, okay, word. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. <laughs> well... Aren't you just perfectly useful? What about this guy? Oh, he's a priest? Okay. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. How the hell did he know where I was? I told you, there's something goofy about this guy. And <laughs> what is uh, what is he playing with that steering wheel like that? This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, uh, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Oh, okay. So we're, we're gonna go that route. Okay. Gather a blood sample from Willie. I'm pretty sure nothing changed here. Oh, you know, I didn't really get a good look at it, but man, I love what William's done with the place. You know, he's he's really spiced up the resale value on this place. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't I didn't even bother to like fully check it out. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find Oh great, it's a Macy's. Perfect. Must be Christmas. They put all the lights up and the you know mannequins everywhere. Oh, at dawn we row. That's a trophy. You you won't see them, but I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna call them out because I keep seeing them. So if you hear me say some random garbage like "Ooh, the harder we you know." The harder things get, the better we are. You know, that's just me repeating the dumb trophy names that people uh, decided to headed? make for these We're games. On our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. This you dude. A lady behind her back, but I will tell you. <laughs> He's like one of the face. few people I know. He's got his own room at a hotel, and then uh, an old Carlton here is driving a steamboat like Steamboat Willie over to a hospital. The reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. And he's got his own personal Edward little uh, steering the wheel there. Between the rest of London and the epidemic. A pompous ass. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stowe, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. Uh, okay. Physician, like yourself. Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? Bet you, he calls himself a man of science. You know this guy is doing lobotomies daily. Some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. 
You point that damn finger at me one more time, I'm gonna bite it off. I attended three of your seminars. Oh, he keeps doing it too. Don't you hate that? That's, <laughs> that's like the worst. What a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood Very, very hand gestury. Yeah, that's it. That word again from a so called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. Uh, why did our boat slow down? Why are we not moving? Are oh, you purposely stopped? Okay. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. Interesting. That's a good, that's an interesting choice. Uh, there, doctor. Contemplate your predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Oh, this is. I have little choice, but yours is a generous okay. offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I doubt that. Freaking finger pointing asshole. It's weird that they give me the reticle when it's <laughs> when it's loading. Like, oh, here's something to play with. Whoa, whoa. Danger, Will Robinson. You see that rendering? Man. I do, I do overall, as much as I'm, like, critiquing the, uh, the spaces that they're letting me into, I, I do like the aesthetic. I can appreciate it. I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, oh, my God. Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship didn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea. Main question is why your mouth doesn't move correctly. Catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Oh, look at you. You look fabulous, darling. Look at him. Isn't he pretty? District status. Healthy. Okay. Oh, oh. Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Oh, okay. So this is, I guess, this is the thirst mode. Oh boy, is uh, oh boy, is itching for it. And it it like cuts off everything too. As soon as soon as you see this, it's just like, oh, can't do anything. Uh, t -t 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 okay. Too much blood. 
calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Hmm. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to do that. Is that <clears throat> doesn't even seem like an option. Let's see here. This music is not cool. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna release you. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah, that I'm not <laughs> I'm not digging the music there. That was uh <laughs> Comical to say the least. To sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Hey, I'm doing pretty all right, man. Oh, they're gone now. Okay. Now let's take a better look here. I'm surprised he didn't like actually help him into the hospital. He just kind of like turned him, turned him loose on the. Did I black out? Whoa, I feel giddy. That's a weird word to use, especially after you were just uh, berating this dude with insults. Okay, so it looks like the hospital is the way to go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see another box. Boom. Just some powder. Just loving it. Aluminum powder. Interesting music change. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, nothing shiny. Something shiny. Glass vial. Cool. And I didn't forget that guy from the last video. I didn't forget. He, he's he got fatigue. So eventually I'm going to have to suck it up and go back there somehow. Oh, trash can. Perfect. Yeah. That's what we're about. Just recycling medical waste. It's the best way to make syringes. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be an annoying playthrough. Let me see here. Oh, pneumonia. I 
That just releases you straight out into the wild, doesn't it? It just kind of lets you lets you go all free roam for no reason. Well, on that note, I'm going to cut this video short, and uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like or subscribe, uh, or you could just keep on watching. No big deal. Uh, and hopefully, I'll catch you next time. Later.